Hey guys, my name is Abigail and I'm your Wednesday on Crazy But Collabing. Wow, Abigail, your background this week is hideous. Wow, CBC viewer, I know. So I had to do this project and it involved a lot of glitter and a lot of craft supplies and my room is kind of a disaster, so I don't really have anywhere to film besides this door. It's got a nice VidCon badge on it, so you can pretend that that's enough decoration to get you by. You also have my face doesn't really help, I know, I'm sorry. I'm standing up at least this week. You can count that maybe as some effort trying. I, I did my hair. I did my hair. I mean, we shoved in a beanie all day, so you can pretend that I tried. Wearing pajama pants. Anyway, this week's theme is Halloween, and I got really excited about this because Halloween is my favorite holiday. If you're about to tell me it's not a holiday, don't. And then I was like, what am I supposed to do? Because I don't actually even have time to carve a pumpkin or make a costume this year. I'm going to make time somehow. School comes second to Halloween, if you ask me. I decided I would review Halloween costumes for you because I don't know about you guys, but we always get these Halloween catalogs in the mail and I haven't seen any this year, but every year they have the weirdest costumes and the weirdest people in them. So I've just found a catalog on the internet and we are gonna review some of these costumes. First off, I think we'll go to the couple's costumes because those are always wonderful. All right, we're gonna go to new costumes in that section. First off, I'd just like to bring attention to this guy in the peanut butter and jelly couple's costume. Like, what's he doing? He's just like, I secretly hate my girlfriend. And then here we have the monkey and banana couple's costume. Can we just talk about how one of these guys is wearing a much more comfortable and able to move around in costume? Like the monkey's gonna be able to walk around fine, but the other guy has a giant banana on him. How do you decide who has to be the banana? That sounds like an innuendo of some sort. I'm just, we're moving on. We're gonna go to teen costumes. Let's see what we could find for me. In case you were wondering, I'm planning on being the log lady from Twin Peaks this year because I already wanted to be her because Twin Peaks and the log lady, she's great. And then they were all like, yeah, Twin Peaks is coming back in 2016. And I was like, well, now I have to be the log lady. Let's go to classic costumes. Teen girls, mystical mommy costume. This isn't necessarily one of those like freakishly short dresses that are always out at Halloween, but still, how cold do you think that this girl is? doesn't look too warm. Animal costumes. We have like nine million cats. Wait, what is this? What? Can someone please explain to me what this is? I feel like I've missed out on something really huge in the world and I don't know what this is. We're gonna go to the teen boys costumes. These are also boring. Okay, most of the costumes on here are literally just t-shirts and snapbacks that happen to have Halloween prints on them. Excuse me, you will not get my number if you wear that, you scrub. <laughs> Oh, the number of times I call people scrubs is just insane. But at least I use the term correctly. Cause there are kids in my school that say scrub all the time. You don't know what that word means. Please don't. Thanks. Colonial costumes. Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, there's Ben Franklin. Colonial. Yeah. George Washington. Colonial. Yeah. Paul Revere. Colonial. Yeah. And Abe Lincoln. No. <laughs> No. This is not the first time Abe Lincoln has appeared in one of my CBC videos. Crazy but Abe Lincoln. Or Abe Lincoln but Clavin. Funny costumes. Let's see if I laugh. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, okay, I like this one. This is the boy's little man eating a shark costume. Beautiful. So that seems like enough for now, partially because I have to go do more homework now. Um. <laughs> I guess. 